Breaking news out of Gaza. Israel's military has just announced that it found the body of a hostage near the Al Shifa hospital. Israeli forces have been inside that hospital, the largest in the Gaza Strip, for a second straight day now. And Israel says Hamas has a command center and tunnels underneath the facility. Now, Hamas and hospital workers repeatedly deny those accusations. The Israeli military released video of what it claims are weapons that were hidden around that hospital. NBC News cannot independently verify the video. But it all comes as a UN agency warned sewage is now flowing through the streets of Gaza. The UN's World Food Program warning supplies of food and water are practically non-existent in Gaza. NBC News correspondent Aaron McLaughlin is in Tel Aviv for us. So, Aaron, what is the military saying about the hostage's body that was just found? Well, Zinclay, tonight the Israeli military announcing the tragic death of 64-year-old Israeli hostage Yudit Weiss. They say they found her body in a building near the Al-Shifa hospital complex alongside a variety of weapons, including Kalashnikovs, as well as RPGs. According to the statement released by the Israeli military, it's unclear when they recovered her body, but forensics has gone through the identification process and her family has been notified. According to her family members, she was kidnapped on October 7th when Hamas militants stormed her kibbutz, the kibbutz Beri. They killed her husband and kidnapped her. She had just been diagnosed with breast cancer and was due to undergo radiation treatment. She has survived by five of her children. Four of them were actually on the kibbutz the day that Hamas attacked. Zinclay. Each new detail just more sobering than the last, Aaron. I mean, we've been talking about fuel shortages in Gaza also for a while now, and it's leading to some communication blackouts. So what do we know about that situation? Yeah, that's right. According to humanitarian officials, the fuel shortage situation in Gaza is really reaching a critical point. The main telecommunications network inside of Gaza reporting a near blackout after it ran out of fuel to run and operate its backup generators. And it's not just impacting communications, it's also impacting clean water. According to the WHO, 70 percent of Palestinians in southern Gaza do not have access to clean water. It's also impacting the sewage situation. Today, the WHO reporting raw sewage running through the streets of Rafa after the fuel pumps ran out of fuel. Now, the Israeli military has restricted heavily the flow of fuel into Gaza, citing Hamas, alleging that Hamas would exploit those fuel flows for its own operations. Zinclay. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.